Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Dylan. I work out here in the Midwest. Um, we started off as a car dealer um, and then we branched off and opened a towing company because we would get cars from the auction and it just made it a lot more simple being able to tow our own stuff. Um, so we started doing that and then with the towing came a lot of lockouts uh, for people who lock themselves out of their cars and so I figured why not just go that next step and make keys for people because I've had a few calls that you know I wish I could have made a key for it but I didn't have any equipment or knowledge um, at the time <coughs> so I've spent the last five months um, researching um, I've just bounced around different YouTube channels and different forums and just soaked in all the information that I could in the last five and a half months. You know, I've done a couple all keys lost that went absolutely wonderful and I've done some that went absolutely terrible. Um, but they all ended up working out in the end. Um, just a little frustrations of, you know, not knowing uh, the trade as much as I should. So. <clears throat> I started off with the Key Tool Max and the Dolphin. Great combo, I love it. It's super simple and super versatile. I can clone uh, car keys and cut basically about any key. Um, so that's what I started out with there. And then I also got a key programmer to go with that, which is just the Auto Pro Pad Basic. And when I bought this, I had thought that if I got the basic, it just didn't come with the extra stuff. But maybe later on I could upgrade to the extra stuff down the line, like like the KC100 and other stuff like that. But as you can see, I was absolutely wrong. This device has no inputs for any optional devices. Um, it's just got a USB charging port and... That's it. Started off with this. It is a great tool. Um, it hasn't really let me down yet. A few Chevys were a little iffy, but I ended up getting them figured out. Um, yeah, so this is what I started off with. Um, this was the equipment that I started off with. Here I just have, you know, just a basic soldering station for circuitry repair um, on key fobs, and I've been kind of tinkering with this. And learning how to solder in the last five and a half months. So I've spent about five and a half months practicing this, practicing the knowledge of the keys, just practicing in general. Um, a while ago I had an all keys loss on a Tibby key. Um, so I bought this and am able to cut Tibby keys. Um, here's the other adapter for the high security keys. So yeah, um, just recently I got this bad boy in the mail and I'm super excited to unbox it so I figured I'd do um, an unboxing video of the IM608 Pro and this is Pro Pro it come with everything it come with the G box the smart key emulator all of that so I'll just open up these here first uh, we'll kind of dig into it here um, hopefully I can get this out of here okay So here, um, let me grab a razor blade. Okay, got a razor blade. Um, let's open this bad boy up here. This is pretty self-explanatory for like Toyotas. Um, you can, um, if it's an all keys loss, you can generate, um, the smart key from the EEPROM to be able to add in another key and just use this as the key. So there's this and a wiring connector. That's about it with that. Put that away there. Maybe I can find a place within this box to put this smart key emulator. I hope. I hope I can fit it all inside this box. So next, we have the G-Box. And here's the G-Box. 
OBD, OBD. You kind of plug it in. Now, we have a whole big bag of connectors for this thing. Uh, looks like we got a fused connector with some capacitors. I don't really know what that's for. Um, looks like a front probe with a banana pin. Um, banana pin with an alligator clip. Same. And here, looks like it might be for some module work. Or maybe some EIS Mercedes um, ignitions I'm thinking this looks like a adapter or an extension so that's the G box okay now we're gonna move on to the IM608 Pro dig this out here oh baby oh yeah Looks kind of like my little mini diagnostic Autel. Does a lot of diagnostics, uh, bi-directional controls. Now, <laughs> holy hell, man, here's our J-Box programmer. Yeah, it looks like it's got some scuffs on there. I hope it's not used. By the way, I got all this stuff from uh, UHS Hardware. They completely hooked it up. Man, this is way bigger. Look at that size comparison. It's like twice as big. Okay, let's see what we got for accessories. Uh, I better set this down so it doesn't spring out at me. All right. XP 400 Pro. How does it work? I have no idea, but it does chips, keys, and IR infrared Mercedes keys. Um, and like I said, I, I don't, I don't claim to be like a locksmith per se. I am still 100% learning this trade. I learn something new every single day doing this. And that's what I love about it. I love learning. I love just being able to diagnose things and make the keys. You know, that's what keeps me going. If I did the same thing every day, I would not be happy. Here we have a bunch of circuit boards for something. Um, MCU adapters. This is a lot to take in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm 100% lost. 100%. See, I'd be doing like, like little, you know, 12, 10 leg chips like that. These, these small, I haven't been able to do one of these yet. I'm not gonna lie. But I can do those all day long. I can do EEPROM chips all day long. I've been practicing the hell out of it. I have just used body control modules, uh, PCMs that I've just been destroying. I take them all apart and put them all back together. That's my practice. So here we have the charger. I'm gonna leave that out so we have space in there. Okay. These are all the adapters for modules. And this has the actual pin connectors for these pin connectors. There is the Mercedes IR key. Right there. Another USB connector. connector I think that I think that goes no I'm not sure but I think this one's for the hard line 
to the programmer, to the XP400, I hope. Most of this stuff I can leave in shop. Well, there's an EEPROM clip. That's nice. So yeah, I uh, have a lot to learn ahead of myself. Um, but anyway, let's fire this thing up. this bad boy up on the Wi-Fi here. Will it connect to 5G? Oh man. I don't think my other one connected to 5G. Thanks for watching the video guys. I got a lot of unpacking and organization to do here. Um, but I got a bunch more videos coming out of me trying my best to program some different uh, security modules. Um, I ordered some EWS, EIS, Mercedes Ignition, uh, a few comfort control modules, and a couple CAS uh, systems to practice on and tear apart and uh, figure out if I can program them or not. Um, so time will tell, but stick around. I got a lot more videos to be coming. Um, thanks. Peace.